New at 10 o'clock, a local warming center in Kalispell is at risk of having its conditional use permit revoked or reshaped as complaints stack up in the community. People staying at the warming center and those in support of the center's mission believe what they're doing is right as it gives homeless people and those in need a safe space. NBC Montana's Dominic Vidiello is working for you to get to the bottom of the issue. We had assertions on how it was going to operate and fit into the community that the community is telling us isn't happening. Kalispell Mayor Mark Johnson addressed City Council and the public during a recent meeting about the future of the Flathead Valley Warming Center's conditional use permit. Unlike some other shelters in the area, the Warming Center is classified as low barrier. And low barrier means guests don't need to be sober. There's no need to work towards sobriety or recovery and minimal requirements to entry. By contrast, high barrier shelters are dry from all substances. They participate in community chores, work towards recovery and sobriety, while also having a curfew, program for participation, and they meet with case managers. Local law enforcement reports from 2021 to 2023 show more than a 90% increase in calls around the warming center related to trespassing, disorderly conduct, criminal mischief, and welfare checks. My job is public safety for Flathead County and taking care of the infrastructure here. And as long as they are taking the taxpayers' money and uh, throwing it in the trash, so to speak, uh, I can't support having them continue to be there. I reached out to the warming center to learn more. Organizers couldn't speak, but provided these statistics. Of the 324 people they serve from October through April, 73% have lived in the Flathead Valley for a year or more. They went on to say blaming the warming center for homeless individuals is like blaming an oncologist for attracting cancer patients. Supporters in the community say doing away with the warming center would be detrimental. When you take resources away, you're gonna see uh, a huge decline in mental health um, across the board. You need your basic needs to be met. The stronger the connections in your community, the lower of mental health issues like will be. I wanted to know what's next. I spoke with the city manager who confirmed Kalispell City Council elected to move forward with a formal hearing on July 1st to allow the warming center to respond to concerns related to neighborhood impact. It's too soon to tell what will happen with the warming center. I'll make sure to follow this developing story and keep you updated. Reporting in studio, Dominic Vidiello, NBC Montana.